Okay, this video is gonna help you to learn to combine like terms. So that's what we're gonna be looking at. I'm gonna roll the dice here a few times, and um, what you're going to do is you're going to combine the terms that are alike and simplify them down using your integer rules about adding and subtracting positives and negatives. So we're gonna practice on one together. So first I'm gonna roll that, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to put together numbers with numbers and um, variables with variables. So here I have x's, and here these are all number cubes. So then what I wanna do is look at the x's and say, well, if I have nine x's and eight x's, I know that a positive nine and a positive eight give me 17 x's. And then what I wanna find out is what happens with the number cubes. What's interesting here, we see that these are opposite, and we know that that makes a zero pair. So we can set that off, we don't need that one. Here's another zero pair. Oops, goes around that way. Here's another zero pair. So that's zero. So this is what all of these six dice are just gonna simplify down to 17 x. So let's try another one that we do kind of together so you get the hang of it and hopefully we'll get some more numbers in here, okay? So I have a five, put the numbers over here and then I put the variables together. So now we've kind of combined like terms, but now we need to simplify. Here I have a negative seven and a negative four. Together that gives me, and now I've got 11 x's. And then over here, here I have that zero pair, they're opposite. I'm gonna take that out. And then over here, I'm gonna put these together. So we know a positive six and a negative nine give us negative three. So I'm gonna roll a bunch of different ones right now. And what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you figure out what the answer is. But I'll group them for you to help out so you can see them all the right way. Take a moment and look at that. Okay, and what that's gonna give us, there's negative three. These are a zero pair. Here, this is gonna give me x. So we have x minus three. We're gonna roll again. Let me sort. Look at all the x terms. This is easy, this is positive two. What does all of this work out to be? I'm gonna group them. I have no opposites, so here I have, I have 17, I have 19 X's all together. 19 take away six is 13 X's and the positive two. I'm gonna roll again. Take a look at that. Okay, I have a zero pair. Together, 15x plus 10. I'm gonna sort them around, put all the x terms together, and the numbers. We're going to combine them. Here I have negative 11 and positive nine. So it gives me negative two X. And then here I have a negative six and a positive two, which gives me negative four. Let's introduce another term in there. Let's get some more variables in there. Let's get some Y's in there now. See what we got here. We got y's, we have x's. And numbers. Okay. Zero pair. Leaving me with 9x minus an x, 8x. No zero pair here, but this will give me negative 10 plus seven, which is negative three Y. 
and then the positive 9 out there. Okay. Roll a couple more times. I have Y terms. I have numbers. I have some X's. Take a look at that. Okay. 7 and negative 7, they're opposites. So that's a zero pair. So I have no x's in this expression. Here I have all positive y's, 8, 6, and 9. If I add all of that together, I believe that's 23y. And then here I have negative 7 and positive 7. Once again, a zero pair, leaving me that this whole expression simplifies down to just 23y. Fugitive out there. Okay. Sort these around. Put the X's together. And the Y's together. Take a moment and look at that. Okay. So if I go put it together here, I put my negatives together. So here I have negative 11. And positive 10. I know negative 11 and positive 10 is a negative 1x. Here, if I move the negatives together, I have negative 17 plus 6, negative 11y. And then I have a negative 4 plus 1 gives me negative 3. Hopefully, this has helped you learn to combine like terms.